Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Monday, September 11th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Drive what Justin Fields drives. Speaking of Justin and the Bears, after being blown out in the season opener yesterday, 38-20, to Coach Matt Eberflus met the media today and really didn't shed a lot of light on the debacle at Soldier Field. But he did have some strong words for him. Again, the guy doesn't say a lot. He did have some strong words for him when asked about Justin Fields. Quote, he knows he could play better. He's well aware of that. And he's going to work diligently to do that. He also said he watched the game film of this awful game. Among the things we learned, a potentially serious hand injury to cornerback Kyler Gordon more to come on Wednesday after he sees the team doctors and has some tests run. Eberflus also tried to point out some of the positives. I didn't see many. In fact, I'm hard-pressed to come up with one. He felt their run defense was pretty good. We will agree to disagree, Coach. Per pro football focus, the Bears' offensive line was brutal. Nate Davis allowed nine pressures and had a pass block grade of 7.2. 7.2! You can't be that bad. He was horrific. Sucking wind three plays into the game. That's what happens when you don't go to OTAs, minicamp, and you're not there for most of training camp. Lucas Patrick allowed five pressures. Cody White here, five pressures, a sack and a hit. Darnell Wright, five pressures. Braxton Jones, highest graded Bears offensive lineman. One pressure allowed, but he also had two holding penalties. On to the Chiefs, who star D tackle Chris Jones. Agreed to a new one-year deal. He will report to camp immediately, and they hope to have him ready to roll here this week. Bills at Jets tonight. The debut in New York for Aaron Rodgers. Bills at Jets tonight with the Bills, a three-point favorite on the road. Cubs and Rockies at Coors Field in Denver. Jordan Wicks gets the ball. Royals at White Sox, weather permitting. Dylan Cease will get the start for Pedro Grafal's club. Don't forget, tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, the debut of this show right there, Feldco Bears Recap Live, as I'll be joined by Tom Waddle and Olin Krutz, who will break down the Packers game and get you set for the Tampa Bay Bucks game on Sunday in Florida. Give me your thoughts. What would you think of the game yesterday? Please post your comments down below and tell your friends about the show tomorrow night. Have a great rest of your evening. Appreciate you greatly. Take that.